how to begin with investing, how to begin if you want to be a trader. I have to rewind a little bit. GTC Traders is sort of, and I've said this before, it's not my first rodeo, right? I have attempted to help new and aspiring traders before with my experience. At this moment, I have nearly three decades in trading. Had a public presence before, pursued institutional efforts, and now I'm sort of back with a new corporate structure uh, that's just much more flexible, much better. And so I say that to say this. I've always found it beneficial to have some sort of series with people who want to get started investing, who want to get started trading. Personally, I see investing and trading as the same thing. I know a lot of guys out there will tell you, oh, no, no, investing and trading are totally different. There are linguistic peculiarities about the use of those terms, but I'm sort of a pragmatist, and so whatever. If we want to play those games, fine. Oh, no, it, like, I, I don't know, man. I tell you. <laughs> Tangent! <laughs> I was listening to some some podcast the other day because I just want to see what's out there, right? I want to listen to what's out there that people are saying about investing in traders that are purporting themselves as people like, you should listen to us because we are traders. And it's just like, God, this is just painful to listen to. I was telling one of my partners, it's like, you should, like I sent him the link. It's like, seriously, you should listen to this. It's freaking ridiculous. Regardless. Sometimes you got to rope me back from the tangent. <laughs> Regardless, I find it beneficial with all the noise that's out there to have some sort of series about how would you begin, okay, let's call it investing and trading, all right? How would you begin investing and trading? I view it all as trading, but whatever. How do you get started? And I did this series in the, the previous public iterations I was talking about, right? Before pursuing institutional efforts, I would have this video series of how to begin with investing and trading. And so we thought, okay, now that we have GTC traders, it's a new corporate structure, much more flexible. Uh, let's do that again. Let's have a series for how to begin with trading. And just in the last hour, I went over and looked at it. And we got a, had a lot of good feedback on those old series with that other company. A lot of good feedback. And I looked over it, there was a lot of good stuff there, right? There was like this educational outline. These are the things that you have to know. These are the things to avoid. These are the things that nobody tells you about. And it was good, but I, as I was looking over it, I just thought, yeah, we have to include some of that. But nah, nah, if I'm going to do this again, I have to approach this as a series a little differently. Well, why? Because I... I think it's important right off the bat to impress upon people that are thinking about getting started trading. You have to know what you're getting ready to do. What do I mean by that? Well, let's just take an example we all know of. 2020, right? We had the lockdowns. Everybody sort of stuck at home. And we all saw a lot of people say, well, I know what I'm going to do if I'm at home and I just got a cash infusion. I'm going to be a trader. Now, all of those with decades in trading, uh, I'm approaching three decades as a trader. We would hear people say that and we would sort of laugh to ourselves like, <laughs> what? Like, you're just going to decide, to, oh, well, now I got some money, so now I'm going to be a trader. And I'm going to earn my living trading and I'm going to get up in the morning at you know, 8 a.m. And I'm going to sit in front of my computer and learn what I got to do. And then I'm going to just be a trader. And then they would, well, what do you do? What's the next step, right? They would go out to listen to some guy of how to begin with trading. And that person would tell them, well, there's these squiggly lines on a chart. And if you just follow these squiggly lines on a chart, don't you see how it pre predicts the future? Which anyone who knows me knows my disdain for the word prediction just because of the scientific and mathematical implications of that word uh but that's what they would do they go out and they'd find some furu right fake guru and they would uh, rob calls them red uh rob and nj over at discovery trading group they call them you know red light green light guys and squiggly lines on a page and do this and do that and of course none of them met with success all of them found out it was dis difficult and the reason why those of us who have been trading for decades were laughing is like listen 
And this, this is the point I want to make in this very first video entry of this series of how to begin. Listen, this is not decide to become sort of thing like you sit down at your PC at home and you just pull out your keyboard and you throw up on a couple of monitors and oh of course you know you need 20 monitors or something all filled with charts no execution ladders no execution widgets whatsoever that's what's funny about those guys they're they are they don't even realize that they're telling those of us who trade that they're not traders because like every chart is filled up with nothing but charts it's like not one ounce of real estate as we say is is dedicated to execution whatsoever and i understand like some guys like charts and stuff like that and and sometimes you got to look at things visually you do right but not one like it, at bare minimum i've always said you need at least 25 percent of your real estate or the space on your screen dedicated to execution right my previous entries when i would show people that years ago it's like listen you need this much of your screen 25 percent. you see that little square right there that's execution space right but regardless I, again see you got to watch me with these tangents <laughs> in 2020 we would see these guys and they'd have all these monitors and you know hand over some money and i'll teach you how to trade well that's a that's a fair exchange if you can show the person what trading's all about but you would look at their monitors there's no real estate on their monitors dedicated to execution whatsoever no domes no ladders not even an execution widget it's just char pretty charts and they would inevitably fail so we say all of the proceeding to say listen you're getting involved in a skill-based endeavor skill so it's not all self-discipline and concentration and focus and determination and you'll see a lot of that with trading listen i understand there is a place for self-discipline there's a place for discipline in trading but it's just so overhyped and it's just almost a meme in and of itself you know that you go out and it's like how to begin investing in trading these guys are talking well you know self-discipline and concentration and here's what i do to focus listen if you go in with all the self-discipline in the world all the concentration all the discipline and focus and determination and you don't understand this is a skill-based endeavor you are going to get your clock cleaned and you're going to lose all your money period best analogy i can come up with right let's say you want to learn jujitsu and you walk in to an academy and you say listen i know jujitsu i'm going to be a jujitsu guy today never trained never drill never done so much as one drill but I'm going to be I'm going to be a jiu-jitsu purple belt. That's what I'm going to be. You know why I'm going to be a jiu-jitsu purple belt? Because I've got discipline and I've got concentration and I've got focus and I've got determination, man. And I listen to motivational videos in the morning telling me it's my time and I just got to power through it. Congratulations. You're going to get on those mats and you're going to encounter a real purple belt and you have zero chance. Zero listen i study mathematics i love mathematics i don't use the word zero percent chance i just don't throw that around liberally there's very few things that are zero percent chance because i know there's such a thing as outlier events right but i'm sorry you have zero percent chance zero you're gonna encounter an actual purple belt and you're going to get before you even get submitted right you're going to get pinned before you even know how you got there and then you're going to get submitted and then you're going to have to tap because you had zero percent chance all the discipline and all the concentration and all the focus and all the motivational videos and listening to some guy that's showing you his cars and his houses on youtube is going to amount for jack all because this is a skill-based endeavor and you have to know that going in just like going onto the mats in jujitsu if you try to do that with the purple belt and you just say well i'm gonna be a purple belt today i'm gonna do a nine to five as a purple belt you have no chance zero percent chance same thing in trading so we say the proceeding to say you have to understand first of all in this first video entry 
you're getting involved in a skill-based endeavor. That's going to take time to develop the skill. It's going to take a time to, metaphorically speaking, get your white belt. You know, you've got your white belt if you've decided you want to do this. Are you going to make it to your first stripe, your second stripe, your fourth stripe? Are you going to, you know, make it to blue belt? Are you going to just be a perpetual blue belt and then you quit? Are you going to stick with it? It's a skill-based endeavor. It takes time to develop that skill, just like any skill in life. So you have to know that going in. This is not something you come to and decide, I are be trader today. Sit down at your monitors. I'm going to listen to this guy named Dan at GTC Traders, and this is what I do now. Sorry, it's not going to work. You have, to repeat from the analogy we gave earlier, zero percent chance. Okay, so just, just that's the first thing you need drilled into your mind. This is a skill-based endeavor. And you have to learn the ins and outs, the why twos and where fours. I'll give you just a couple of examples. We're going to explore this in greater detail in this entry or in this video series of video entries. What does good look like? So, so when you're talking about being a baseball player, when you're talking about jujitsu, when you're talking about basketball, well, there's an objective measure for what good looks like, right? That guy's got his brown belt. He's good. That guy's batting 500. He's good, right? It's like there are objective measures and statistics you look at and say, wow, that person's got some talent. They know what they're talking about. They're good. What is that in trading? Do you even know what good looks like? Well, I know a guy, and he said he was making $10,000 per day. Well, first of all, is that true? B, has he demonstrated it or has he just literally put, well, no, look, I, I put all my trades out live. Yeah, did you? Did you talk about your losses too or did you put out all the trades, delete the stuff that talked about the losses and then it looks like this sterling beautiful example of trades. So what does good even look like? So a lot of those guys that will tell you while making this many, and let's just stick here for 40 seconds about making $5,000 a day. Yeah, I want to make that. I want to make that. You do realize there are mathematical papers that have been peer-reviewed and published on the amount of capital that's required to make that dollar amount per day. This is not my opinion that I'm just pulling out of like, you know, thin air or something. This has been studied in detail in the realms of quantitative finance. You're not going to sit down with a $3,000 account. Hate to burst your bubble. Maybe you want to end here. That's fine because I'm just going to tell you what's reality, not what, you know, some. I'm not going to sell you some pipe dream. You're not going to sit down with a $3,000 account and start trading for a living and pay your bills that way and start making $10,000 a month. Never gonna happen. It's been proven. It's been proven in peer-reviewed papers it's been proven in real world examples and and if we talk about dollars per day why are you t see again you got to learn the where twos and why fours if you walk onto a jujitsu mat in your white belt the guy the higher belts or the professors are going to tell you listen you don't even know how to work the parts of your body together. It's knowing where your body is at any point in time and connect, making this part do it in cooperation with that part, working the Jenga puzzle as it were, right? You don't even know how to do that yet. And you just, you gotta learn how to do that. Well, it's the same thing in trading. Like people will talk about dollars per day and I'm thinking, what are you talking about? What's, what's $2,000? That's nothing. Like you're, you're, you're bad. Okay, I'm sorry, but if that's all you can make in a given periodicity, you may end up being quite bad. Well, I made, you know, $2,000 or I made $20,000 on a, on what? On a $10 million account? That's really bad. All right. That's, that's, and again, God, I, there's so many ways that I have to qualify these statements. It's not bad given the periodicity. It's not bad given the environment. What sort of environment? Like there's, you have to learn that. You have like we were saying before with that analogy in jujitsu, right? You have to learn how to make your body work together as a wrestler or, you know, practicing jujitsu. It's the same thing in trading. You, you have to learn so many nuances and that takes time and it takes skill. So that's what we wanted to emphasize in this first video entry. I'm sorry, but understand it's going to take time. It's a skill-based endeavor. 
You can learn to do it. There's a lot of bad, bad information out there, right? 95% of all traders fail. And that's false. It's false. It's people who are misquoting the actual statistic because they don't know the industry well enough to know what the actual statistic is. 90, I would say 98% of the people who attempt to start trading as a self-directed retail trader will have their account broken and dead inside of six to nine months. That's the actual statistic. But it's not like, well, you know, 95% of all traders fail. So like, you know, you, you got to work to be on that 5% every uh, <laughs> every year. It's like, well, I made it past that last year. So, you know, somebody may be a professional trader or a prop trader or trading at a firm. And the whole firm's like, wow, we've only got a, you know, we've got a 95% chance of failure. No, they've made it into the ranks of the veterans. They know what they're doing. The actual statistic is 95% of the people who begin as self-directed retail traders who want to begin this as an endeavor don't understand it's a skill-based business and i would actually say it's higher than 95 percent. i would say 98 percent of those who begin are dead broke and busted their account within six to nine months okay that highlights that people who tell you well 90 a couple of things 95 percent of all traders that's false like there's there's nuance between the two statements we've made and if they're telling that you that and want to teach you trading then they don't know what they're talking about and you should ignore them and number two, it should also teach you that if you listen to the actual statistic, it should tell you the odds you're up against. Like you have to learn the actual where to's, why for's, and the actual information. And by God, that, that means you don't listen to some snake oil furu salesman about trading with squiggly lines on a page. Okay? And I think I have reinforced that concept enough <laughs> in this entry. But that has been our very first entry in this series that we would like to make about how to begin with investing and trading. Number one, begin understand it's a skill-based endeavor. It can pay you very, very well once you learn the skill. But since it is a skill, it takes some time to learn that skill. All right? So that has been what it's always been. It's been our thought in this series of video entries that we will make. And... As such, it's simply been our thoughts, not yours, for whatever that date is. As always, stay safe, trade well, and remember that love doesn't cost to die.